I finished the altar with two coats of oil-based polyurethane and then three coats of water locks over the polyurethane. And the reason why I did that is uh, Douglas fir is a very soft wood and also I was having a bit of an issue with the wood splintering. As I was sanding the wood was sort of splintering off especially on the edges. So using the polyurethane was kind of an attempt to weld all of the wood fibers together and then once I created that hard shell of a finish uh, to make the finish nicer I used the water locks. Now I still need to put one more coat of water locks on the very top of the altar but before I do that I want to talk a little bit about how I assembled the base and some of the hardware that I used. To attach each of the white oak cross braces I used two two and a half inch long cabinet screws and a little wood glue. And then you spin it like this. Alright. You got it? Thanks Jack. Jack look at the camera. This is my oldest son Jack. Thanks bud. Alright. To join the main beams of the altar together I used a heavy duty screw made by Timberlock and I'm using this in place of a lag bolt and you can also see that I've drilled an inch and a quarter hole and that's to hide the top of the screw and also the washers. The next step is to attach the base to the top and to do that I'm going to go downstairs and make a few wooden clips that are designed to fit in the slots made with the biscuit joiner. Those clips will allow the top to expand and contract. I've got a small scrap piece of sapili and this is going to be perfect for the wooden clips. I've got two thin coats of lacquer on all of the wooden clips and I'm ready to attach the base to the top and the first thing I want to do is make sure that the base is sitting on the top square and I've got the same reveal all the way around. It's helpful to put a little blue tape where you want the base to be once you've finished measuring and this way you'll be able to tell if the base shifts while you're working on it. And I'm sure you've noticed that after I made the video where I built the altar, I felt the top looked a little heavy so I added a chamfer to the bottom of the top. I'm using inch and a quarter stainless steel screws and if I was screwing into a hardwood like oak or sapili, I would pre-drill for the screws but I don't expect to have any problems with Douglas fir. I found these heavy duty furniture glides online. Alright, well I had Jack come back out to the barn to give me a hand getting the altar off the table and now I'm ready to give the top a light sanding and then one more coat of water locks. dry for a few days and now I'm buffing the finish out and I may have forgotten to mention 
Uh, Waterlocked is a wiping varnish. And so right now I'm using 4-0 steel wool and a product called Wooloo Buffing Paste to basically you buff the finish out and that removes any imperfections that might be in the finish and any little high spots. And it just gives the finish an overall nice look and feel. Now once I finish doing this, I'll wrap the altar up and get it ready for delivery.